Hello, hello, it is me, Strong Earth Creations, and for today's video, I'm going to be showing you the easiest and simplest pattern for a tote bag for beginners. And I ended up making mine strawberry themed. So I also show you guys how to um, add the leaves and the little heart seeds. So if you wanna make your strawberry themed, you have the option, but otherwise this is just a very simple tote bag tutorial that any beginner could follow. So let's get into it. All right, so the materials that you're gonna need for your tote bag is just any yarn that you prefer. I like just using worsted weight acrylic yarn. I'm gonna be using a H five millimeter hook and then scissors and a yarn needle. So to get started, we're going to be making a slip knot. So to do that, you make a backwards four and then like that. So the way I do it, I fold my yarn like this, twist it, and grab. So go ahead and make your slip knot. And then we're going to be chaining. So this is going to be the width of your tote bag. For me, I made mine 30 chains. You can make yours larger or smaller. So you're just going to be chaining, which is just yarn over and pull through the loop. So do this however many times you want. I'll be doing 30 and then plus one to be our turning chain. All right, so I just chained 30 and then I'll be adding one chain and we're gonna be skipping this chain once we start working our stitches into the chain. So now is when you determine what stitch you wanna use. So for me personally, I like using single crochet because I feel like it gives a tighter look with less gapping and less holes. Um, you can also use half double crochet, double crochet. It really just depends on the look that you're going for. So whatever stitch you wanna use is what you'll be doing. So for me, I'll be using a single crochet, which means that I'll be working into the second chain from hook. So we will not be working into this. We'll be working into this chain right here, which is our 30th chain. Yarn over, pull through so that you have two loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through both. And that is a single crochet. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through so you have two loops, yarn over, pull through both of those loops. That is your single crochet, and this is the stitch that we're going to be using for the entire bag. So just go ahead and single crochet in every single chain that you have, and I'll meet you back at the end of the row. So I'm gonna crochet in that last stitch, or last chain, and then because we did a single crochet, I'll be chaining one as my turning chain. If you did double crochet, you'd probably chain two, triple crochet, chain three, so on. But I just did single crochet, so I just chained one as my turning chain, and then I turned my work so that we're working this way. So insert your hook into that first stitch and continue on with single crocheting. This is gonna be the same pattern for every single row, which makes this a very, very simple tutorial. All right, and then once again, I'm on my last stitch. If you are confused on what your last stitch is, it should look like a V. You might be confused and might think that this is your last stitch. It is not because if you look at it, it's not a V. That was just our turning chain. This is an actual stitch, which means that this is our last stitch in the row. You can also count how many stitches you have to make sure that you have the correct amount. And then once you're finished with the row, chain one, turn your work, and keep doing single crochets. 
So you're just gonna keep doing this until the length that you want. So for me, I found that 34 rows was the perfect length for me. So just do however many rows of single crochet you would like. And then once you're finished with that one panel, I'll show you how to cut off and finish off your work. And then we're gonna be making one more panel. So I have finished the panel. It is 34 rows long. As you can see, I finished the last single crochet. And so to finish off, what you're going to do is chain one and then cut a tail. And then you're just going to pull through and tighten and that creates a little knot. So this is your first panel and then you're just going to do one more of these so that you have two matching panels. And once you're finished with that, come back to the video and I'll show you how to slip stitch the bag together and then we'll do the straps. So for your two panels, make sure that they are the same uh, side up and you know, like this is a row of single crochet, this is a row of single crochet. This side is your chain, this side is your chain. So make sure that it's just like the complete same on both sides. And because this is my right side, this is the good side of it, it doesn't really matter. They kind of both look the same, but I feel like this side looks a little bit neater. Same with this side. So we're going to be putting right sides facing inwards. So this side will be facing inwards and this side will be facing inwards so that we will be slip stitching on the wrong side of our bag. All right, so go ahead and get your yarn. We're going to start with another slip stitch And we're just gonna start on whatever side you wanna start on. So we're basically just going to be slip stitching, starting, I'm, I'll be starting from this side. So I'll be slip stitching from here, down the bottom to the other side, and then leaving the top open to be the opening of our bag. So because I did single crochet, it'll be a lot easier to tell my rows apart than if you did double crochet. If you did double crochet, then you'll be probably doing two slip stitches in your single stitch, but because single crochet is kind of the equivalent to one stitch, we'll just be doing, we'll be just working one uh, slip stitch into each stitch. So go ahead and just put your hook through your uh, top stitch, like in between the stitch. See, this is, the top of the stitch we're going through the side of the stitch and then go to the equivalent on the other side so it should look like this and then just start slip stitching then with this one go in go in slip stitch And just do this all around the sides and the bottom. Pretty simple way of attaching your piece. And then working in that last little stitch right there, single crochet. And then for my corners, what I like to do is I just like to chain one and then single crochet in the same spot again. I feel like that just gives the more rounded look. And then when you're working with the chains, you can kind of see where your chain is. So here's one, here's two, three, etc. Once again, on the last stitch, sink or slip stitch once, 
chain one, slip stitch again, and then your last side, slip stitch all the way up. And then last stitch, slip stitch, and then chain one and finish off this by pulling through. So now your bag is all stitched together. Now I would recommend sewing in all of your ends using a darning needle. For these little uh, ends with two, I like to just tie them together for extra security. And then just go through your bag like this, working through the stitches. All right, now you can flip your bag right sides out now. Make sure to push those corners out. And now we can get started on the straps. This is my strap color. I'm going for like a strawberry bag type of look. And here is also where you will decide if you want two straps or one strap. I'm going to do two straps that go like this, but you can also just do one long strap that goes like that. So we're just gonna start with our strap color. You can put aside the bag for now. Start with your strap color. Do a slip knot with a tail that's long enough to sew in your strap, like that. So you have a pretty long tail. And then chain however long uh, widthwise you want your straps to be. I usually do around five chains, five or six chains. Yeah, let's do six and then plus one for your turn, turning chain. And then instead of just regularly single crocheting into your chain, we're actually going to be working in the back bump of your chain. So as you can see, there's these little bumps right here that you're able to work into. So you're gonna be doing your single crochets into that like this and this just gives a much cleaner look and a much easier um, way to sew on your strap so I'll show you what it looks like once I'm finished with this row all right so see it looks just the same but when you turn it it looks like a regular stitch. So that way, when I'm going to sew, I'll be able to sew through both of these like a regular stitch and it's just a little more secure and it looks a little neater. And then we're just gonna be doing the same thing as we did with the bag, where we chain one, turn our work, and single crochet through each stitch. Once again, you'll be doing this for however many rows you want your straps to be. And if you're doing just one strap, then you'll only need to make one of these. If you're doing two straps, you'll make two of these. Chain one, turn your work, keep single crocheting. So go ahead and work your single crochets for however long you want your strap to be. If you're doing two, go ahead and make your second strap as well, and then I'll meet you back when all of the straps are finished. So I finished my two straps 
leaving a tail on both ends of them. And now we can sew them on. So with your bag, just count where you want your straps to be. And then I'm just gonna sew these on using my darning needle. So going in like this and sewing the strap on. I'm also going to be doing this twice, so I'll be going forwards and then I'll be sewing backwards as well for extra protection. And then I also like to add another one in that little corner. And then I'm just going to go around this stitch and tie a little knot. And then on the inside of the bag, I'll just sew in my end. And then making sure that my strap is not tangled because it will be super annoying once it's already sewed on. All right, and then doing the exact same thing. All right, and then that is your tote bag. Completely finished. Since I'm going for the strawberry-ish vibe, I'm going to add a little green uh, add-on of leaves here. So if you want to stop your bag here, totally fine. If you want to know how to make this strawberry tote bag, then keep on watching and I'll show you how to add these little leaves. So using my green, I'm going to make a slip knot. And my bag, uh, my initial starting chain was 30, so since we're making it all the way around the bag, we'll be doing 60 chains. One, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, 60. And then add an extra one for our turning chain. And then I'll just be doing one row of single crochet. So starting in the second chain from the hook, insert your hook and do a single crochet, and then single crochet throughout the whole row. And then once you finish your row of single crochets to be double your starting chain, so mine is 60, so it's going to wrap around my whole bag, then we're going to chain one, and we're going to do a like shell type thing. So single crochet into the first stitch then you're going to skip the next stitch and we're going to work six double crochets into this singular stitch so to do a double crochet you're going to yarn over insert your hook yarn over pull through so that you have three loops on your hook yarn over pull through two of the loops yarn over pull through the last two so I'll do it a little slow. So you're going to do this six times in this singular stitch. And then skip the next stitch and work a single crochet in the stitch 
after that. And this is what your shell thing should look like. And this is gonna like mimic the leaves of our strawberry. So now we're going to skip this stitch and work six double crochets into the next stitch. Skip this stitch, single crochet, skip this stitch, six double crochets. And we're gonna keep up with this pattern throughout the whole row. So my chains didn't leave me with the perfect amount for the pattern. If I had one more chain, I would've been perfect, but oh well. So I'm just going to one, two, three, four, five, six. And then my last stitch, I'll just do a single crochet. So here is what it looks like when it's finished. And now we're just going to sew this onto the bag. So to finish off, we'll do a chain one and then kind of measure with your yarn how long your leaves are. And then do probably like two of those. Pull through to finish off. I'm gonna sew in this end that we won't be using. And then just start sewing, trying to match up your chains as much as possible. It might be a little hard to see So I'm just gonna keep sewing this until I am all the way around. Okay, so I finished sewing it so that this is what it looks like. And then to close it off, I'm just going to wrap it around a stitch. tie a knot and then sew it and then if you want you can add yellow little uh, seeds to your bag I might do that or I might just leave it plain honestly so I am gonna end up doing the little seeds and I'm making them into little hearts so to do that I just got a really large piece of the yellow um, yarn and then I'm just finding where I want to put my heart starting through the back this is hard to do with one hand by the way <laughs> in case you were wondering all right and then just go in through the bottom of a stitch and then back out through the one that's next to it and then back into the same and there you have your little heart seed so I'm just gonna do this on both sides of my bag and your inside is not gonna look very pretty but I planned on um, lining my bag anyway so like this is what my inside looks like right now not cute but with lining you won't be able to see it at all so and here's our final product i hope that you guys liked the video and were able to follow along i'm going to be uploading every tuesday from now on with new crochet videos as always follow my instagram at strong earth creations to keep up with my other crochet creations and i will see you guys next week thank you guys so much for watching bye